So this is the press release for the short rain uh, season uh, for October, November, December 2015. And the summary says the 2015 short rains October, December are likely to be enhanced in most parts of the country with varied levels of impacts in the socioeconomic sectors. In some parts, the rains are expected to continue into early 2016. The distribution is also expected to be good both in time and space. While the heavy rains may cause disruptions, some sectors may reap maximum benefits from the expected good rains, depending on their levels of preparedness. And you know, conditions are currently present in the eastern and central equatorial Pacific Ocean. Right for performance of the short rains October, November, December 2015 season will be driven by the evolving El Nino conditions coupled with the warming of sea surface temperatures in the western equatorial Indian Ocean adjacent the east African coastline. Much of the country is therefore likely to experience highly enhanced rainfall that is likely to cause uh, serious flooding over various uh, flood from eight parts of the country. However, there are a few regions that are likely to experience just normal rainfall with a tendency to above normal rainfall. As a very short introduction, uh, the short rains October to December season constitutes an important rainfall season over Kenya. It's expected that most parts of the country will receive enhanced rainfall during the next uh, rainfall season of October to December 2015. The rains may extend into January in some parts of the country. It's likely that extreme events related to heavy rainfall like floods, uh, landslides and mudslides may occur in areas with increased likelihood of enhanced rainfall. The seasonal outlook. The detailed and specific outlook of October, November, December 2015 is as follows. <coughs> the areas likely to receive above normal rainfall, that is high enhanced rainfall, include the western counties of Busia, Vihiga, Kakamega, and Bugoma, the other counties of Kisumu, Siaya, Homa Bay, Namira, Midori, uh, Kisi, <laughs> counties in south, southeastern, central, and north rift. That's Gericho, Nandi, Bomet, Baringo, Wasigishu, Transoya, Napu, Narok, Laikipia, Kajiado, Sambu, Northeastern counties, Mandela, Wajia, Garissa, Isiolo, counties in former coast regions, Mombasa, Kilifi, Kuale, Namu, Tanariva, Teta, Tabeta, counties in central Kenya, Kiambu, Kirinyaga, Nyeri, Moranga, Nyandawa, Nairobi counties, uh, Eastern Kenya counties, Machakos, Kitui, Makueni, Meru, Embu, Taraka, Taraka Isiolo, Marsovic, uh, these areas are shown in uh, dark green areas. Those are the areas that are likely to receive a uh, very enhanced rainfall uh, on the map. The areas like to receive near normal rainfall with a tendency to above normal rainfall. Uh, that's enhanced rainfall in Utrukana and uh, the northern parts of West Pokot. Uh, these are areas that were shown in light green on the map. Onset and cessation deaths. Uh, this is very important information for agriculture and uh, other, other activities. In Nyanza and Western counties, uh, in these uh, counties, the onset will be markedly clear as the occasional rains in September are expected to continue into the first week of October. The rains are likely to continue into January. Uh, all we are saying is that uh, we are not going to see a prolonged dry spell in Western Nyanza, and therefore the light rains we are seeing now into September are likely to continue into October for the short rain season. In the Northern Rift Valley, uh, the onset in the northwestern parts of the counties of Trukana, West Pokot, uh, is expected during the second third week of October, while the cessation is expected in the third fourth week of December. Central, northern, and northeastern counties, and the central highlands of Meru, Embu, Nyeri, Moranga, Nanyuki, among others, Nairobi area, Dagoreti, Kabete, Isli, and uh, Northeastern Kenya, Moyale, Mandela, Wajia, Garissa, Marsabit are expected to experience their onsets you know, in the first to second week of October. The rains are likely to extend into January 2015 uh, over the central districts while seizing during the third to fourth week of December over the northeastern districts. The Central Rift Valley, um, the Central Rift Valley areas of Naku, Narok, Nyawu are likely to experience an onset during the first second week of October, the rains are likely to extend into January 2016, especially in narrow and Kajiado areas. The southeastern and some parts of former coast region counties, uh, 
Pleasure South Eastern Lola, who interviewed Tama King Tana River. I'd like you to realize the onset during the second to third week of October. The situation is expected during the last week of December. Some areas may, however, continue receiving rainfall well into January 2016. The coastal strip, onset over the coastal strip, plus Lamu, Malindi, Mombasa, Kilifi, um, Tua Palms from Samweli, Lungalunga. Uh, the onset is expected during the first, second week of October, and cessation uh, during the fourth week of December. The expected onset and cessation dates were shown, I think it was two figures that <laughs> <laughs> in view of the above forecast, many sectors are likely to be impacted either positively or negatively. With adequate preparation, uh, the country can avoid the negative impacts while taking full advantage of the positive, positive impacts. It is it's in this report that KMD wishes to highlight some of the impacts of these expected seasonal rains in the various sectors for mitigation measures to be instituted. And one of the sectors, agriculture, livestock development, and food security sector. The above normal rainfall expected over uh, most agricultural areas of the country, and its likelihood of having good distribution should be a good motivation for farmers to double their efforts to reap maximum benefit from this good condition. However, farmers need to be aware of the prevalence of disease due to high moisture levels that may cause for other losses. The onset of the rains may also interfere with the harvesting in the counties of Rift Valley, especially Transoy and Wasingishu. It's advisable for farmers to work very closely with the agriculture, agriculture officers uh, for relevant advisories in their areas to avoid losses. Uh, foliage and pasture in the pastoral areas of northern and northeastern Kenya are expected to regenerate uh, well as a result of the expected good rains. Pastoralists should therefore seek advice from livestock officers to optimize on the season and avert any loss of their animals due to possible outbreaks of Rift Valley fever. There is need for targeted vaccination of livestock so that uh, the high risk of Rift Valley fever areas as per the advice of livestock officers. Increased surveillance of Rift Valley fever, uh, especially in northeastern and eastern Kenya, is, is important the kind of outlook we have uh, seen, <coughs> it's possible that we might see an outbreak of uh, this species. Food security during the season is expected to improve significantly in the eastern and northern parts of Kenya during and after the October to December rainfall season. On environment, water, and natural uh, resources sector, uh, this is a good season to do reforestation and plant trees in areas where forests and the environment has been degraded. Uh, there are better chances of these trees establishing during the coming season. The water sources will get a boost from these uh, good rains, but the uh, quality will be affected due to increased chances of siltation uh, from soil erosion. Communities are advised to construct new open water pumps, dams, and uh, desilt existing ones in good time to maximize on the water runoff. The ministries in charge of this sector uh, are advised to lay down strategies of mitigating any negative impacts that will be associated, associated with this uh, heavy rainfall. Disaster management sector, the implication of above normal rains during the season in, uh, flood, flood, in floods and flash floods uh, will lead to floods and flash floods in the urban, urban areas. Enhanced water levels in the rivers like Earth River, Tana Nyando, Oshaniro, Tanzoya, and other flood from the areas is likely. Problem, problems related to waterborne diseases are likely to occur due to expected heavy rains. Consequently, close monitoring of the situation and quantitative measures are necessary in order to adequately cope with the situation. During this season, uh, huge thunder clouds will develop and more frequently in the western Kenya, where near average to above um, average rainfall is expected. These clouds generate lightning, uh, lightning strikes and will be experienced, that will be experienced in counties like Kisi, Nyamira, Kisumu, Kakamega, Ngoma, and even counties not associated with this incident. Sheltering under trees and walking in open areas during uh, thunderstorms is 
the dangerous and further when sheltering in a house or building, people are advised to avoid being close to windows or doors. So, some of these things look simple, but they are simple. <laughs> the health sector, waterborne diseases and vectors are expected to increase leading to possible upside for diseases like malaria, uh, dengue fever, this one I cannot pronounce. Typhoid, cholera, and fever, and others. The Ministry of Health should therefore be on the lookout uh, for such cases and the preposition relevant med medical supplies in health facilities to be able to deal with such situations as <coughs> they arise. Increased awareness in health um, workers and communities at large is also necessary uh, to make sure that people understand what kind of precautionary measures they need. In transport and public safety sector, the experienced enhanced rainfall, expected enhanced rainfall is likely to lead to muddy and slippery conditions on roads in most uh, parts of the country. This may result in uh, vehicles getting stuck and uh, stalling in uh, muddy sections. Accidents may also occur uh, as vehicles be suddenly due to slippery conditions. Motorists are uh, therefore advised to drive carefully in uh, order to avoid such accidents that may emanate from poor road conditions. In areas expected to have above normal or highly enhanced rainfall, swelling of streams may cause water to overflow over bridges that were constructed with limited use of data on return periods of intense rainfall events. Aircraft flying to western parts of uh, the country, especially to and Eldoret, are advised to be aware of high convective activities and turbulence over the Kericho and Hill area and avoid flying directly into the river's clouds. Uh, flash floods may, all, may still occur in some parts of central, uh, eastern, southern and western counties, especially during the rainfall peak month of November and December. This may lead to transport problems, especially during rush hours and also in areas where the roads become impassable when it rains. Flooded <laughs> roads uh, may also cause danger to motorists and pedestrians. All should therefore take utmost care during the rainy period. On the energy sector, the major river catchment areas of the country's hydroelectric power generating dams are forecast to receive near, near to above uh, average rainfall. This means that surface water runoff may reduce the average to above average inflows into rivers of some Miru, Tana, and Earth. This may lead to increased water levels in dams and increased capacity for hydroelectric power generation in the hydropower dam. <coughs> Increased cloudiness during the days in rainy, uh, during the rainy season tend to reduce the number of sunshine hours significantly, especially in central Kenya, leading to reduced solar radiation and reaching solar panels. This reduces the uh, chances of panels to fully charge batteries and therefore a fewer power hours. Alternative sources of power need to be put in place. Lastly, this forecast will be used in conjunction with the five-day, weekly and the monthly forecast or updates. Uh, that we issue in the department. In fact, in terms of when we will exactly receive certain um, rainfall amounts, if we talk about intense rain, then the five-day focus normally is very important. And, um, within the department, we are privileged to have uh, a severe weather forecasting demonstration project for Eastern, Eastern Africa, and we normally on a daily basis uh, delegate areas Look at areas that are likely to receive above 50 millimeters of rainfall in 24, 24 hours. Those are the areas that are normally potential for flooding and any other impacts. So basically, that's the end. I was reading this on behalf of the director of Kenya but uh, James Congo is not with us. He's in a meeting in Geneva. But, uh, he asked us to make sure that we dispatch the information to get this. That's a very simple.